we can safely eat butter. We can safely eat animal fats. <laughs> we can yes. safely eat meat. It's not going to cause us cancer or there is very little sort of evidence of that. Well, why didn't you tell us about that? Well, that's, I think that would be interesting because we did talk about the carnivore diet. So yeah. is there any so, evidence that meat causes or red meat specifically causes cancer? Yeah, so um, two, two issues there, you know, saturated fat and heart disease. And the traditional thinking was that saturated fat increased your risk of heart disease. And again, the data just simply does not show that. Um, there was some data early on that was used that kind of got us going down this whole, you know, uh, pathway of thinking that saturated fat caused heart disease or was a primary contributor to heart disease. And we now know in retrospect that that data, it was poor quality data uh, and, and a lot of it was kind of manipulated, uh, you know, by the by the uh, scientists of the time. So, you know, it's pretty clear from the data now that there isn't a relationship between saturated fat and heart disease. And in fact, you know, the U.S. dietary guidelines took out their caution about saturated fat. Uh, actually, you know, two two revisions ago. So the 2015 guidelines, and this was carried forward to the 2020 guidelines, say in them that saturated fat does not have enough evidence as a nutrient of concern is how they put it, as opposed to the previous versions, you know, had a limit, you know, of how much saturated fat should be in the diet. So that's the first thing to understand for heart disease. In terms of its relationship to cancer, again, red meat has never been shown with good data to be tied to cancer. There is maybe, and I say this, you know, maybe a little bit of a signal around processed meats and cancer, but even that is very weak data and it has been inconsistent. The reason that, you know, meat got associated with cancer was because when most people eat meat, you know, most common thing in, in America is a hamburger. And so that hamburger is going to have the meat, but it's also going to have the bun and it's also going to have the toppings. And most people with their hamburger are going to have French fries that are cooked in, you know, vegetable and seed oils. And they're going to be drinking a, a, a you know, a soda, a sugar beverage. And when they go and they do these food surveys, you know, they say, you know, they ate a hamburger and that gets down as meat. And then they see the relationships with poor health, like cancer and heart disease. And they say, oh, the meat must be causing it. But the reality is, is it's all that other stuff, you know, that goes along with the meat that's causing those negative effects. It is not the meat itself. Mm -hmm.